Fellow soil lovers, if you've ever looked at your garden beds and wished they were crawling with more life, more worms, richer soil, and faster decomposition, then get ready for a game changer. Today, we're talking about something so simple, so everyday, that you probably already have it sitting in your pantry. Rice. That's right, the same grain you cook for dinner might just be the key to unlocking the most fertile, biologically active soil you've ever had. Over the years, I've experimented with dozens of soil-building tricks, from compost teas to worm farms, and few things have worked as fast and dramatically as this secret rice trick. It's one of those how-is-this-even-real gardening moments. Within days, you'll see your soil come alive. Within weeks, you'll notice more worms, deeper root growth, and an unmistakable transformation in how your garden feels under your hands. Let's dig into how it works and how to do it right. Before we even get to the rice, let's talk about what really makes soil thrive. Healthy soil isn't built by store-bought fertilizers, it's built by life. Microbes, earthworms, fungi, and countless unseen organisms are the true architects of fertility. They break down organic matter into nutrients your plants can actually absorb. They tunnel through the earth, creating air pockets that let roots breathe and water move freely. Their castings, yes, worm poop, are loaded with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace minerals that feed plants naturally and steadily. When your soil biology is alive and well, you don't need to fight nature, you just guide it. Fertilizer becomes a supplement, not a crutch. That's the philosophy we live by here at Soil Power. Feed the soil life, and the soil life will feed your plants. Now here's where rice comes in. Rice might not look like much, but it's loaded with starches and simple carbohydrates, exactly what your soil microbes crave. When you introduce rice or rice water to your garden, you're essentially serving a feast to the microscopic community that powers your soil's ecosystem. Think of it like this. Your microbes are asleep, waiting for food. You sprinkle rice water, and suddenly it's breakfast time. They wake up, multiply, and begin breaking down organic matter at lightning speed. Lightning. As microbial populations explode, earthworms move in to feast. Worms eat microbes, decaying material, and the byproducts of fermentation. The more microbial activity you have, the more worm activity follows, and that's when the magic happens. Within a couple of weeks you'll see darker soil, softer texture, better water retention, and a visible increase in worm castings. So, what's actually happening underground? When rice, especially in its raw or soaked form, meets moisture and warmth, it begins to ferment. This fermentation process releases beneficial microorganisms, including lactic acid bacteria and natural yeasts, which is, uh, pretty similar to what's used in Korean natural farming techniques. These microbes create what's known as a living biostimulant, and that, honestly, jumpstarts microbial activity in even the most compacted, tired soils. At the same time, Rice attracts saprophytic fungi, those beautiful white mycelium threads gardeners love to see when they lift mulch. These fungi help break down tough organic materials like wood chips and straw, transforming them into rich humus that plants can feed on. This one-two punch, microbes and fungi, creates a cascade of life that just ripples through your soil ecosystem. Worms follow, feeding on the bacteria and fungi, and in turn, enriching the soil even further through their castings. There are two main ways to harness the power of rice-rice water activation and direct rice application. Both work, and both can fit into any type of garden, from raised beds to pots and containers. This is the fastest and easiest method. Take one cup of rice and rinse it briefly in about two cups of non-chlorinated water. Swirl the rice around until the water turns cloudy. That cloudy water is your microbial starter. It's packed with carbohydrates and natural compounds that feed beneficial soil organisms. Strain the rice and save that water. Then simply pour it around your plants, over your mulch, or into your compost pile. Within a couple of days, you'll start to see results. Worms will gravitate to the areas where rice water was poured, and your soil will begin to feel more alive. For container gardeners, use rice water as a microbial drench once every 7 to 10 days. It's a simple way to revive lifeless potting soil and reintroduce natural biology that may have been lost over time. 
If you have leftover cooked rice, without salt, oil, or seasoning, don't toss it, put it to work. Mix a small handful of that rice with something rich in organic matter, like leaf mold compost or aged manure. This combination jumpstarts fermentation and prevents unwanted mold growth. Bury the mix about 2 inches deep near your plants or along the rows between crops. Then, just cover it lightly with soil or mulch to keep pests away. Over the next week, you'll start seeing small fungal threads and worm tunnels forming around those spots. That's life returning to your soil. Just remember, a little goes a long way. Too much rice in one place can lead to anaerobic kind of sour-smelling conditions. A single handful per square meter is plenty to set off a microbial chain reaction. When rice enters your soil, a fascinating sequence unfolds beneath the surface. In stage 1, microbes bloom, feeding on the starch and multiplying rapidly. Stage 2 brings biological heat, a sign that the soil is teeming with microbial activity. That warmth draws in earthworms, leading to stage 3, when worms begin feeding, breeding, and transforming the soil structure. By stage 4, which takes about 2-3 to three weeks, the area becomes rich, dark, and crumbly, filled with worm castings and the unmistakable scent of living earth. If you run a side-by-side -side test between a rice-treated bed and an untreated one, you'll notice the difference almost immediately. Mulch decomposes faster, roots grow deeper, and water stays in the soil longer. Your plants will show their gratitude through greener leaves and stronger growth, all without synthetic fertilizers. Here's a pro tip that takes this trick to the next level. Use rice water or buried rice just before applying mulch or leaf litter. When microbes fueled by rice encounter fresh organic material, they begin breaking it down almost instantly. Within just a few days, your mulch transforms into a living, breathing layer that feeds your soil continuously. I like to call this a living mulch blanket. It doesn't just cover the soil, it actively improves it from the top down, creating a self-sustaining system where nutrients cycle naturally. There are a few golden rules to make sure this trick works perfectly. Always use plain rice, no salt, oil, or spices. If you're using rice water, apply it during the cooler parts of the day to avoid evaporation and stress on your soil organisms. Bury rice slightly to prevent ants or flies from discovering it. And if you ever see white mold growing around the area, don't panic. That's good fungi doing its job. For an even stronger effect, combine rice water with a handful of vermicompost or old compost. The microbes in compost will explode in number when given that starch boost from rice, creating a true biological powerhouse underground. Within a month of applying this method, your soil will look and feel completely different. You'll notice more worm castings dotting the surface, a darker and looser texture, and mulch that breaks down twice as fast as before. Your plants will develop stronger root systems, their leaves will appear greener, and overall growth will become more vigorous, even without adding any fertilizer. This simple rice trick is especially transformative for compacted dead soils or garden beds that have been overexposed to chemical fertilizers in the past. Rice doesn't just feed your soil, it reawakens it. At the end of the day what I love most about this rice trick is its simplicity. It's affordable, natural, and incredibly effective. No fancy products, no complex recipes, just one ingredient that triggers a chain reaction of life underground. Whether you're working in a backyard bed, a balcony planter, or an urban garden, this method can help you rebuild the living foundation that every healthy plant depends on. So if your soil feels tired, if your compost needs a boost, or if you just want to see more worms wriggling through your garden, give this trick a try. Trust me, it's one of those small habits that completely changes how you garden. If this article helped you, don't keep it to yourself, share it with a fellow gardener who loves experimenting with natural methods, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to Soil Power on YouTube for more hands-on, science-backed gardening tricks that bring your soil back to life. Naturally. Because, here at Soil Power, we believe that when life begins underground, everything above ground thrives.